Welcome to our interview series with Wellness Global and our international holistic experts. This show is called Consilience, Exploring New Ways of Thriving, and you can find us on YouTube on our channel at Wellness Global. I'm Valerie Engel Roberts, your hostess, and our intention with this program is to empower you with tools and wisdom and resources to assist you in your journey for thriving in this life, whether that means peace of mind, satisfaction, success, or surprise. We want to be here as your source of connection. And today we want to connect you uh, with a dear friend of ours, Laura Wade with Thrive by Heart. Laura, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with you, Val. Yeah, I'm excited for you to share with our audience today because um, I know they're going to want to hear a little bit about you, who you are, and um, your gifts and talents, and what brings you here to us today. Well, um, I am passionate about helping women, especially, um, be empowered to live with passion and purpose. So I've always been really into passion and purpose um, before it was, they were even buzzwords. <laughs> So um, I started in personal development for myself over 30 years ago and just fell in love with the whole idea of transformation and helping people um, create change from the inside out, but, but not really change who they are, but bring who they really are to the surface. Um, and so th that became a passion of mine a long time ago. And um, I've, I've studied ver with various different people and found different ways and means of sharing those tools and techniques with the people that I work with. Um, so I'm going to back up a little bit, though. I'm going to tell you a little bit about, bit about me personally. <laughs> so I, I am a mom to three young adults. And um, two of them are twins. So I, ha I, I had twins the second time. and. One of the things that happened for me was, um, you know, I really thought I had everything together before I became a mom. I felt like I had done so much personal growth. I knew all the right things to do. And um, I was going to be like the most enlightened, amazing mom ever. Right. And then I had children. <laughs> and um, what I found was they reflected back to me all the places where I still needed to heal and grow. And um, they reflected back my limiting blocks and beliefs and ideas. And I didn't always know that that's what they were doing at the time. But um, looking back, I can see that that's what was happening is that they were being my teachers and, and masters and showing me the areas that I still um, had opportunities to, to grow and heal. So when my kids were really little is when I... Um, realized that even though I loved being a mom and I wanted to be home with my children, I also missed being um, with other people. I, I had worked in corporate America for a long time in marketing and public relations and did sales trainings. And um, that's actually when I discovered uh, personal development and started going to experiential workshops and, and learning about personal responsibility and um, what we think about, we bring about and how do we create the life that we really want to want to live? So I had been doing that, and I had been an on um, on purpose person, certified mentor. And when I had children and started staying home with them, I realized I missed some of those things. Um, and I I wasn't sure totally what was missing, but I knew something was missing. And so I actually found out about a process called the Passion Test that was created by Jana Atwood, and. I got so excited about the, the idea of the passion test. Cause like I said, I was already into passion and, and, and everything for years before that. And then I read the book, the passion test and realized in my top five passions, one of them was empowering other people to live their dreams. And I wasn't really doing that anymore. Um, because I was, I was taking care of my toddlers. <laughs> um, so I wanted to, I wanted to get back into that. And Jana Atwood was um, speaking and I listened to her online and she actually said she was going to start certifying people to teach it because she um, was finding people all over the world needed to learn about their passions. And part of the reason is because passions are bread breadcrumbs. They're like little hints of what our purpose is. Mm -hmm. So the things we love are written in our heart for a reason. 
And when we realize what those things are and we put our attention on those things, we actually start living our purpose. Even if we don't know what the exact purpose is, we start getting more and more aligned with it because we're following the breadcrumbs. So I got certified as a passion test facilitator in 2007. And um, I, still t I still teach it because I think it's such a valuable tool and resource for people and it can be used over and over again. Um, and it can be used in specific areas of your life to help you prioritize what's most important to you in specific areas of your life as well. So that's one of the tools that I use with my clients is um, helping them discover their passions by using the passion test process. Uh, so that, that's the reason I got started with the passion test specifically was because I was a stay-at-home mom and I, I realized something was missing. I wasn't, I wasn't living all my passions. I was living some of them, but not, but not all of them. Um, so I've also been married for, it's going to be 24 years this year. And, um, we found each other through some of the same tools and techniques that I teach. Also, I help people discover, um, what their priorities are in their relationships and how can they attract their ideal person into their life. Um, and so I use some of the same tools that I use to attract my husband over 24 years ago. <laughs> so a lot of my personal life weaves very much into my professional life and, and all the tools and techniques that I've used in my own personal life, I share with my client because I only want to share things that I, I believe in <laughs> and that I've had experience with and know, and know that they work for me. So um, that's really important to me. Um, so that's a little bit about my, my personal life and how it relates to my business life. Um, and then um, what I do now is I offer courses and strategic mentoring sessions to help people. Um, and like I said, especially women um, to get in touch with their, their heart and align themselves with the things that matter most to them. And um, I do that by helping them discover their passions, their purpose, and um, prioritizing those things in, in their life so that they can enjoy their lives more. Yeah, so I think it's, um, I think it's really important that what you do, you, you know, Laura Laura's the passion lady, right? So it's Thrive by Heart. She's all about the passion and purpose. And I think that um, because you've pulled so much from your own life experience, and when you work with people, um, you don't only just take them through the, uh, you know, assessment or whatever you call it, the process for the, um, the passion test, but you also offer additional resources, which we'll talk about later, but part of that is mentoring, and um, you can relate with people, and I know that, that a lot of people who are going to watch are going to relate to you, whether it's um, moms who, you know, most of us, I think we thought we had it all together before we had kids. And then um, I love how you, you, you know, describe them as you master teachers, because they really do show us where we still have room to grow. And we always have room to grow, right? Always, always, always. But our kids can really show us that. And um, I know that moms listening can relate to that. And then just really anybody who's in their um, in their corporate life, who just isn't feeling that spark, or even business owners who have kind of lost the the drive, forgotten what they're doing, or you know why they're doing it, um, or why they got into it. Uh, there's a whole lot of reasons that um, you know you're able to help people because we we need that guidance. So mentorship um, is really important, and when you look around the world. Um, and you see people who are making an impact or who are, you know, might have celebrity status or something. A lot of times athletes, um, notorious business people, you know, that you see on, on news shows and things like that. Those people have coaches, they have mentors helping them along the way, because having that person to, um, to guide you through, not just to say, well, here's a book to read or here's a, here's an assessment that we're going to walk through and then walks away, you know, that's one experience, but that's not the same as having that guidance. So, um, before we hopped on, we were talking a little bit about mentorship and tell us a little bit about why mentorship is so meaningful to you and how you're able to support your clients 
with that when they come to you for, um, you know, a, a soul to goal meditation or um, a passion test workshop or something like that. Talk to us about mentorship a little bit. Okay. Well, one of the things, like you said, because I have mentors, <laughs> so um, I have um, worked with Jack Canfield as a coach and Patty Aubrey. And then, like I said, Jana Atwood. So I've, I've always had people in my life that were, um, being, being my mentors, whether, whether it was, um, personal one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or group coaching sessions, I've always participated in those because I do believe in that so much. And, um, I, I just heard a statistic that actually said, when you have accountability, you're 80% more likely to follow through on something. And I thought, wow, I mean, that seemed high to me, but, but it also makes sense because, um, I think, I think it's easy. Sometimes we make commitments to ourselves and we don't actually keep them, which, which breaks trust with ourselves so that it makes it harder to keep the next commitment. Mm -hmm. So when we make it with someone else, we're more likely to keep it. And we're also making that commitment to ourselves because, you know, I'm not, I'm not asking my clients to make a commitment to me for me. I'm asking them to make the commitment to me for them, right? So that they can get the results that they want and that they can have the success and the happiness and fulfillment in their lives that they want to have. So I, I believe in mentors and have, have always had some kind of mentor in my, in my life um, for, like I said, 30 years, basically. Um, and I do recommend resources to people also because ideas will come to me that I think um, are for that person that, I, that I'm working with at the time. Um, but the other thing is that uh, the tr transformation is a, it is a process and it's a journey. And so we can, we can um, get derailed easily by ourselves sometimes and someone can bring us back on track. So I always like a lot of the exercises that I do with people, especially the visioning exercises are all about helping people have that vision. So they know how to get back on track when they get off a track, because it's inevitable. We're going to get off track. Okay. Things are going to happen that we can't plan in our lives and how we respond to that um, is going to help us as we move forward, either with resilience and, and commitment to go get back on track. Or sometimes we have a vision and we realize that's not real, what I real, I created that vision, but now I, um, I think you were, you posted about this in somebody else's um, feedback the other day. Um, sharing with a friend of ours that sometimes we're, we have to reevaluate and say, is what I thought I wanted what I really still want, right? And I think having someone else reflect that back to you helps. And to, I, I consider that one of my biggest roles is to reflect back to people where they are, where they want to be, and what's actually happening in the in-between so that, so that I can help them shift the things that need to be shifted for the changes that they actually do want to make in their life and for the results that they want to have. Um, and so, so I consider that, like I said, that's a, that's a big part of me. I said, my children reflect things back to me. We all reflect things to each other. Um, you know, that's, that's, part, we don't see anything except what we are. So when we're looking out and we are, we're judging or we're seeing something we don't like in someone else, or we're being envious, and wishing we had what someone else has, ha has, that's all really a reflection of something that's already within us, either our shadow or our strength and our opportunity to grow. So, um, and as a coach, I know that that's what I'm doing when I'm with someone, right? When I'm doing a strategic session with someone and we're having the conversation, I'm hearing beyond what they're saying and I'm able to reflect back to them what I'm, what I'm picking up on from them. Mm -hmm. But it, it's all coming from within them. Yeah. Yeah. Great points. Um, and, and, you know, finding someone to mentor you isn't always, isn't always easy. You want, you want to find somebody that you have a rapport with, that you feel safe with and connected with. And uh, again, we were talking before we came on live about uh, different things going on in the coaching industry right now. And there's a lot of different things happening out there. So um, I'm grateful for this opportunity to be able to spend some time with you here so that people can get to know you and develop some rapport. And um, in your process of looking for a mentor, if you're listening to this today and you're thinking, 
you know, that's me. I need some support um, in finding my passion again, or, oh, can I have passion in life? I thought I was just supposed to drudge through this job I hate, or I have to keep going in my business because I started it. So I can't stop. I have to do it forever. Um, you know, you can, you can get to know Laura and, um, you know, decide if she's a good fit to work with you. So you've got a booking, you've got a call that you allow people to connect with you on and um, kind of get to know you a little bit more and you can determine if you can help them, right? Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, so I do a 30-minute um, a complimentary Love Your Life call and that allows us to get to know each other and see what your next best step is. So I, what I, what I tell people is you get on a call with me and by the end of the call, you'll have a next best step for you, whether it's working with me or not but you'll, you'll have a next best step. Sometimes I'll provide a different resource um, or I'll tell you which one of my programs makes the most sense for you right now and could benefit you the most. Um, but, uh, but you'll always, you'll always leave with, with, with something that you know is the next best thing for you. And so ordinarily I would, I would ask you at this point, like what, you know, what is something you could recommend to people? And you can still answer this question <laughs> in a different way if you want, but like, what is something, if someone's watching this and what you're saying is really resonating with them, but what is something that they can walk away with right now that they could take with them today and start taking action on or thinking about, but I, what I would really recommend is if, if this is really like ringing your bells and you're like, this is me, um, is to, is to make that call with Laura, because, um, Believe me, I've participated in plenty of, um, you know, consultative calls and Laura's not going to be the person that you need to be afraid of <laughs> hopping on a call with. <laughs> She's going to shove some package down your throat and not let you get off the phone until you say yes. Um, right. That is not going to be your experience with Laura. She's a, a real listener and a, a true mentor in that her passion is helping you um, awaken yours and find your path. So. Uh, really would encourage you to do that. But I will let you, Laura, I will let you add to that if there's anything that um, you would encourage somebody to um, think about or move into today after they watch this uh, session with you. Yeah, well, at the, at, at the very least, what I'd say is start writing down what you're passionate about. You know, start noticing what makes you smile and get you excited every day. Um, be aware become aware of what those things are for you and make note of it. Um, that to me, that's the, that's the first step is, is being aware, making, making sure you're noticing those things and then being grateful for those things that you are, do have already showing up in your life because gratitude raises your vibration and can help you attract more of those things into your life. So that's a simple thing that I, everyone could start doing right away. Um, another thing that I would recommend is I actually have a free guide that is all about discovering your purpose. And it's called Five Steps to Falling in Love with Your Life Again. And it helps you think about your passions. So there's some um, questions that'll help you get started thinking about your passions and what you're excited about. And then it helps you create a purpose statement that can also help you stay more intentional and focused. Um, so those are just some quick resources that you could get started with right away. Awesome. Great. Yeah. And again, I work with Laura and um, been to a couple of her workshops and it really is transformative to go through these processes and that being part of part of what's included in that and um, kind of vetting out your passions because it can be hard with um, especially if you're a person who's plugged into the media, YouTube, social media, the news or a very um, um, connected with people in, in person, networking and things like that. And you're always inundated with different um, possibilities and lifestyles and topics of discussion. And you think, oh, I want to go, I want to go do this. I want to go, I want to have that. But sometimes when we really think about it and what really makes us happy, um, sometimes isn't necessarily the same thing as that that we see around us at all. So that's a great a great practice to kind of refine that and see what is it that really makes you happy. Sometimes what makes someone else happy is not necessarily what's for you. So um, really good start there. So um, let's see, we, we're gonna go ahead and drop the links for 
um, the free guide and to book a call with Laura in the description below. But Laura, do you have any other um, programs that you've got going on right now? Any other offers that people can take advantage of if they're super excited about this possibility with you and, um, and anything else that you wanted to share with our listeners today? Yeah. Well, um, one thing I just want to say based on what you were just sharing with people about all the things outside of ourselves, um, it's very, very easy to think that what other people are doing or their lifestyle, especially the snippets that we see on social media, which are usually the cool things that they're doing, right? <laughs> Not the whole story. It's very easy to, um, and I have fallen into this trap to think that um, that's what I want because um, we're comparing ourselves. And when we do that, um, I, comp comparison is a thief of joy. Um, we're not being in the moment. We're not uh, thinking about who we really are and what really matters to us. We're being influenced by the outside instead of listening to our heart and, and listening from the inside to what's really important to us. And so I think that was just a really important point. And I, I'm, I was glad you brought that up um, because my whole thing is I want to help you listen to the inside. I want to help you go inside, listen to your heart and your soul, and then create your life from that space. And so one thing that I've just recently started offering, and I'm really excited about because I've gotten great feedback from my clients who have done this, um, is a soul to goal guided session. And it's a meditation where that I'm going to take you on to meet your higher self. And we'll, we'll ask your higher self some of those key questions that are on your mind right now that, that are really important to you to find answers to right now. And um, you'll get answers from your higher self, your inner wisdom which is very important because one of my, my goals is to help you find that inner wisdom and listen to it. And then I'll also share whatever downloads and, and, and um, what comes through my intuition and my higher self that, that I feel is supposed to be shared with you. So you'll also get some answers um, from, from me, um, my higher self. Um, so we'll, we'll include the link for that too, because those sessions are, are, are people are really, have really been excited about those sessions. So I'm excited to share them with people. Awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I'm curious to hear more about that in the future too. So any other um, remaining thoughts that you had that popped up that you wanted to share before we part? Um, just that my intention is always to reflect back to you, your gifts, your passions, your purpose, and to help you amplify living that in your life so that you're feel, feeling fulfilled and happy in your life and you enjoy life more because that's really the purpose is to enjoy your life more. Awesome. And how can we find you online? Um, you can find me at thrivebyheart.coachesconsole.com. So we'll put that in the link too because it's awesome. easier than yep. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to memorize it or write it down. We will have that all in the description just down yeah. below. So check it out down there and just click and head right on over and see um, what all Laura's got to offer and a little bit about her there as well and um, and get to know her too. So thank you so much for being here, Laura. We're so glad to have you today and to let our audience um, have a glimpse into your world and how you can support them. Thank you, Val. You're I love welcome. being here with you as always. Yay, yes. Um, so everyone, be sure to find the links and the resources that we talked about today in the description below the video. And thank you for checking in today, being here with us for this valuable opportunity to learn and grow with Laura with um, Thrive by Heart. And um, we invite you to continue to come back each week to meet more experts and expand your consciousness every week here at Wellness Global. So until next time, we'll see you later.